Hi Bull Bakers, you have been watching us in this kitchen, if you can believe it, for almost eight years, which I think tallies up to- It's been to like 500 videos, hundreds 500. of millions of video views. You know, we are sad but excited that the, this chapter is gonna be coming to an end. Yeah, most of you know that uh, we actually bought a house and uh, we remodeled that kitchen. And so, Jem, this is the last video in this kitchen. Yep, we're moving to another part of LA and a kitchen that we're building to like be good for production. Like you said, 500 videos have been made here. And I just think back to the beginning when it was just Kevin, it was just you and I. I think back to the crazy times where we had just started Bigger Boulder Baking. So many things went right and so many things like were out of our control. Like we're in a tiny kitchen here in LA. We have no air conditioning, for instance. We did so many ice cream videos and I remember standing in the kitchen, all the, the house has to be closed off for sound and literally melting in front of the camera. Well, that was the first ice cream video that uh, that we did, and you ended up doing that was your became your famous Came two ingredient homemade ice cream one recipe. One of my biggest videos. Six uh, individual recipes. So, uh, in the early days of Bigger Boulder Baking, we packed so many recipes into one video, yeah. and so that one video ended up taking us two and a half days to film yeah. because you had to make the ice cream, remake the ice cream. It was melting, like you said, because of the heat and, and everything was crazy. So what happened, you vowed- I vowed never to do it again. Never to do it again. Never ever again are we doing ice cream videos. And then and now, it ended up being one of our biggest videos. That video is, you know, tens of mil yeah. 10 uh, million plus uh, views on, on that video. Yeah. See, Gemma, I remember even much further, much earlier, some videos that people didn't really see. I just started filming you in the kitchen because I bought a Canon 70D camera. I had never, filmed you know episodes like this one of the first videos i actually filmed of you was deboning a chicken <laughs> do you remember that do you remember doing that oh my gosh deboning a chicken on a I cart i remember i remember i remember are we going to show a clip of that <laughs> no um, i remember there was cupcakes was that bigger boulder baking the cupcakes so we've got to show that cupcake episode because uh little do people know it's an unlisted video it was a pre bigger boulder baking by about a few weeks i remember very clearly it was 90 degrees in the house and just put my hand up and say i'm not a cake decorator mm -hmm. i was making a cupcake bouquet oh in gosh. 90 degree heat with buttercream yeah. that as we were filming it slid off the cupcakes because they were held up in the air yeah it I, I would pipe and it would just go meow and slide off i only could decorate the front of it because everything fell off the back so the gorgeous cupcake bouquet that you saw in the thumbnail and in the yeah. video was beautiful pristine there was no back there was no cupcakes there was nothing yeah. it was just melting in front of your eyes one of my moments is um can i talk about the halloween video okay <laughs> it was around the Halloween time and YouTube was running a big promotion with the director Guillermo del Toro. The whole thing was uh, they built a set at the YouTube Spaces, their production studio in Los Angeles, and you could enter for the possibility to shoot an episode there, a story, whatever it may be. And so I wrote a script. Mm -hmm. You did? And it was called The Recipe, about you going home to Ireland to a family house and uh, ending up discovering it's haunted. And, you know, just like any other amazing movie, of course, it had, you know, the grandest vision uh, overall. Uh, what we actually shot ended up being uh, a lot uh, different than what we originally uh, imagined. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the good news though was, is is that, you know, we at least were able to edit something out of it. And I specifically remember we were, we were traveling in the Northeast. Uh, we were on vacation and we had to submit that video by a certain date. Mm -hmm. uh, so the team was working on editing and all that, but the edit that came in and what they showed us was scary was scarier than the footage scarier. we shot. We had to create some sort of connection with the kitchen. It originally was just filmed at the YouTube space. It was just a story. So we ended up creating it as more of a dream mm -hmm. 
But the problem was, is we arrived here, I think, like the night before the video was due to be launched. We had to Shot film it at night. Yeah. So we had to like close things up and make it look like nighttime and make it a reason for it to be nighttime. Um, and then there was a whole reveal at the end and all that. So you'll, you'll have to go back and watch the video for the reveal. Don't. But, um, but let's just say I didn't quite turn into uh, the, the Martin Scorsese or Quentin Tarantino of, uh, of, of recipe videos. Maybe not, yeah, maybe recipe. not recipe videos. Maybe not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. When was the moment you guys realized that Kevin was not gonna shoot and edit the episodes anymore? Oh my gosh. I'll talk first about the shooting of the recipes was stressful for many reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one is uh, we're married. Mm -hmm. We're also living in a- Small it's space. It's not a giant house, it's a small house. I would get stressed out about, am I gonna miss the shot? Am I gonna miss the brown sugar going in at the right time? Am I gonna miss it? And, you know, and the thing is, we rarely did. We rarely would have to redo anything or whatever, but it was stressful. And so I would end up spending hours yeah. editing because I wasn't a trained editor. I was taught device. myself two o'clock in the morning, later than that. We ended up hiring on first official production employee who ended up um, shooting uh, all the episodes. Yeah. Uh, and then she would edit as well. And that took so much stress away from me as far as that goes. And that seems like like forever a ago. lifetime ago. Yeah. Gemma, when was the moment you realized that you needed a new kitchen? Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's being Irish, but I, I or maybe and a woman, but my tolerance is pretty high for like putting up with stuff. With the point that we realized we need a bigger kitchen was when we started doing our bulk shoots. After like a few days, our, our fridge is packed full of stuff. We have to have set up another table in our sitting room to like house the desserts. There's nowhere to put anything. We couldn't buy a certain amount of butter because we had no room to put the butter. With the amount of production that we wanted to get out of here, because we want to produce um, new content on Bigger Boulder Baking every day, and we can't do that in this kitchen. Yeah. The space would not allow us. Like you said, we had we had both a high tolerance you know, yeah. for this. And people have asked for a kitchen tour. This is the kitchen, like when it. it comes down to it. Um, and then also it's just, it's giving us the ability to, I would say, tell more recipe stories, which is, again, allow you to, to make a recipe from beginning to end more easily. You can't do that in this kitchen because the stove's over here, uh, the stove top's here, the oven, uh, you've got counters here, you've got sink, all that sort of stuff. Like Jem said, you open the fridge, I opened the fridge the other day and ice cream fell out on my foot and that didn't feel good. Even moving to a bigger and bolder kitchen, if you will, um, the recipes are still gonna be accessible. The uh, You're not going to use, you know, uh, tons of gadgets and things you don't need necessarily. You're going to be able to make I just have a more lot room to things. create. Exactly, exactly. Which is the whole point of this. Yeah. All right, Jim, so it's been in popular demand. We've heard it for years. What do you think about actually finally giving a kitchen tour? Okay, let's do it because there's nothing we can lose now. <laughs> so here is our kitchen. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really tiny. We have very little counter space. So what we used to do for bigger, bolder baking, excuse me, because we're packing right now, but we'd move a card here, put a piece of wood, and I would stand here and do um, the videos. And then after the videos were done, we'd put the card back. We have no counter space so we had to really work with what we had and um, we've got like white cupboards which have these this house is from the 70s is that right Kevin? 50s 50s so uh, <laughs> very very old cupboards and um, full of nooks and crannies and if you go over here we have an island we would do food photography on this you have our pantry Tiny, tiny pantry. Tiny pantry. We only have a couple of cupboards. Think of all the baking that I do, and we only have a couple of cupboards to have. I've got like 25 pound bags of flour, 25 pound bags of sugar. It's crazy. So this is our life in one room. <laughs> We've been in this house for eight years, built a business, had a baby. So much has gone on, and this is this is our life all packed up into boxes. This is our, our living room and uh, where we watch TV and George plays and we, um, 
yeah, we, we spend a lot of time in this room. And uh, waffles, if you ever walk by our house, waffles would be sitting in the window up on his little perch, making sure that everybody was doing what they were supposed to be doing. So follow me through here and I'll show you back here. And um, we have a little hallway, uh, one bathroom. You're not seeing in there. Our bedroom <laughs> and George's room. So the house. This used to be the office before it was George's room and it, it still is uh, like workspace. These are all my wooden boards for food photography. The houses are in 1100 square feet, a little, little bit more. A little um, bit less. A little bit less over here. <laughs> yes. um, one bedroom, one bathroom, one, oh sorry, two bedrooms, this room, and a kitchen and a sitting room. And uh, we made it all work. So. It's very tiny. We're definitely upgrading as we move to the new house. We're getting three times the amount of space. Um, very excited, very sad, um, but you know, it's a journey and you guys are along for the ride. So uh, let's let's see what the next chapter brings. So you're not going to the master bedroom? Well, you showed the rest of the house. Do you want to see the master bedroom? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't want to move outside the kitchen, but. Uh, oh, because that was what we're doing. Oh, I thought it was a kitchen tour. No, a house tour. We just said kitchen tour. Oh, did we? <laughs> yes. And look at here's our sign. For one million subscribers. Yeah. That was up on the wall in the office. This is our bedroom. I worked a lot from the bed. I love to sit on the bed, watch the office and do my work. Um, this is Kevin's office table. He has to set up his desk in here once Georgie came along. Um, yeah. So this is it. It, uh, it, it was small, uh, but we made it work. And uh, onwards and upwards, as my mom would say.